Welcome to Teacher Bell Class TV. English. Today, we're going to discuss about expository text. In this lesson, you will be able to identify the types of expository text and you will be able to answer questions from expository text. Are you ready? Let's read the text. Then, answer the questions that follow. To actively participate in this activity, you can write your answer in the comment section. Caterpillar Caterpillars eat leaves. They have a soft body. They have fine on their body. They breathe through tiny holes on the sides of their body. a soft body. What does caterpillar eat? Now, let's complete these sentences. Caterpillars have blank on their body. Caterpillars breathe through blank. Did you answer the questions correctly? The given text is an example of expository text. What is expository text? Expository text are informative texts that explain something to the readers. They give facts and information about a specific topic. The author's purpose is to inform, describe, or explain the topic. Just like in this text, the author gives us facts and information about caterpillars. Examples of expository texts are found in textbooks, encyclopedia, atlas, newspaper, magazine, biographies, and journal. Expository texts are fact-based texts. They are non-fiction texts that provide information or details about a particular topic or subject matter. There are five ways in presenting expository text. These are the types of expository text. Description Compare and contrast Sequence Cause and effect, problem and solution. Description Description describes a topic by giving examples, features, and characteristics. These are the signal words that we use in description. For example, for instance, Specifically, in particular, in addition. In this text, what causes earthquakes is an example of description. Let's read. The earth's surface is made up of four layers. These layers are not all one piece, but instead are like a puzzle. These pieces are always moving around. Sometimes, they get stuck. Then, 
the fish sleeps and causes an earthquake. In this given text, the author describes a topic, what causes earthquakes, by giving examples and features. Sequential or Sequence Sequence presents or lists items, events, or steps in numerical or chronological order. We also use signal words like first, second, next, last, another, then, finally, after that, and before. In the given illustration, it explains the steps one must follow to make a sandwich. Another example of sequence is the life cycle of a frog, wherein the life cycle of a frog are arranged in a chronological order, from being an egg up to the adult frog. Compare and contrast. Compare and contrast explains how two or more things are alike and or different. We use Venn diagram to compare and contrast two or more things. In the given example, we compare and contrast the similarities and differences of a bird and a rabbit. Cause and effect. Cause and effect shows cause and effect relationship between two or more things or events. An effect is what happens in a story. A cause is why something happens. For example, the cause here is the boy blew a big bubble. Therefore, the effect is it is fluttered on his face. Problem and solution. Problem and solution presents a problem and lists one or more solutions for the problem. In the given illustration or example, the problem is the milk spills on the floor. Therefore, to solve the problem, wipe the floor with a tissue. Another example. The problem is our car stopped working. So the solution we made, we took it to the mechanic to get it fixed. Once again, these are the types of expository text. Description, sequence, compare and contrast, cause and effect, problem and solution. Identify what type of expository text is used in each text. To actively participate in this activity, you may write your answer in the comment section. Write if it is description, sequence, compare and contrast, cause and effect, and problem and solution. Are you ready? To properly wash your hands, you must wet your hands first, then put a hand soap, rub your hands, and rinse well. To properly wash your hands, you must wet your hands first, then put a hand soap. 
Rub your hands and rinse well. The correct answer is... Sequence. Fish breath underwater using gills, not lungs. They live in water. They have scales and fins. Fish are cold-blooded animals and lay many eggs. Fish breath underwater using gills, not lungs. They live in water. They have scales and fins. Fish are cold-blooded animals and lay many eggs. The text is... Description Ralph and Raver both wanted to drive their new car. They started yelling at each other. Their dad told Ralph that he could drive the car today and Raver would have a train tomorrow. Ralph and Raver both wanted to drive their new car. They started yelling at each other. Their dad told Ralph that he could drive the car today and Raver would have a train tomorrow. The correct answer is Problem and Solution Lay studied hard for the math exam. Therefore, she got an A+. Plus. Lay studied hard for the math exam. Therefore, she got an A+. Plus. The answer is cause and effect. Ducks and chickens are both birds, but only ducks can fly. They both live on farms and give us eggs. Duck eggs are big and chicken eggs are small. Ducks and chickens are both birds, but only ducks can fly. They both live on farms and give us eggs. Duck eggs are big and chicken eggs are small. The correct answer is... Compare and contrast. Let's read the text. Then answer the questions that follow. To actively participate in this activity, you may write your answer in the comment section. Are you ready? These are foxes. They live in the forest. They live in an underground home called a den. This is where they take care of the baby foxes. Baby foxes are called kids. Foxes are orange and brown. They like to eat mice and rabbits. They can run and jump. What are baby foxes called? Where do foxes live? What does a fox like to eat? What movements that a fox can do?
Let's check your answers. What are baby foxes called? Baby foxes are called kids. Where do foxes live? They live in the forest in an underground home called a den. What does a fox like to eat? Foxes like to eat mice and rabbits. What movements that a fox can do? They can run and jump. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.